Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I just received pretty uh, upsetting, in a way, devastating news just as far as my channel is concerned and my being a shopper is concerned. Um, I didn't know. I found out on Rita's today. Because John and I was talking about uh, doing something, uh, you know, before this one place opened up. I said, how about going to Christmas tree shops? I mentioned in the... Uh, Rhea's chat, and then the Solomon Vic said, a uh, Christian shop equal bankrupt. I said, what the heck are you talking about? And Jody said, it's closed. The one we used to go to all the time was closed. I didn't know. I said, when did it close? A while back. And then what happened was, uh, the Solomon Vic just sent me a video, and then John sent me a video. Um, I'm trying, the, our, our uh, I guess they won the liquidation July of, of this year, and I didn't even know. And, uh, yeah, they're permanently closed now. And I didn't know they were in, in problems at all, in, any type of problems at all. And why I, um, I watched the videos, I found out that uh, they were once owned by, um, Christian Shop was once owned by Bed Bath Beyond. And, uh, whenever they filed, when Bed Bath Beyond filed for Chapter 11 went out of business, they broke away from them and went on their own. I guess things are doing okay, and then all of a sudden, like, uh, like around June, July, of 20, they, they weren't making their sales. Someone said they didn't have the selection they had before. I thought it was like a little limited last time I went in there, but they closed July of this year. The last time I was there was uh, August 21st of last year. I know I was away for that long. I might still have a couple things from there um, to review, but I don't, I'm not sure. I loved it there. I remember they used to have like these mailings and stuff, coupons. They yeah, played with Chris Fisher. I never paid attention to it. And then uh, we never went there. And then went, Dad passed away. Mom and I went in there. And I was like, this place is awesome. And I've been going there ever since. And they're such, uh, they're food items. They have a food section. They have other stuff too. They, they have like unusual uh, Halloween stuff. You get like Santa Claus shaped pasta and stuff like that or whatever. And it's, and it's not all just. Uh, Chris Tree theme, there's a holiday themed store. I've got like our uh, Halloween uh, tortilla chips. All weird stuff. A whole lot of really cool uh, fridge magnets for Halloween stuff. And, and then you go to uh, there's all these unusual drinks you might never tried before. That's the first time I had tried Moxie at Chris Tree Shops. I like Moxie. Some people don't like it. And I guess that. Uh, in a store, in New England stores, I'm like, I think there were 900 across the U.S. We had one in, in the Mill Creek, one of the outlets in Mill Creek Mall. I was on for years. <clears throat> and um, I loved it. Every time, every person I talked to about it, um, well, my mom said she'd go there and she'd want to buy out the entire store. And I, my one friend said, yeah, I was going to buy it. I mean, I've never met anyone who hated that place. They might not understood. I mean, a couple people in comments, I said, do they just do Christmas stuff all year? No, it's a holiday store. They do all different stuff. I've never met one person who said I hated shopping there. Because I would usually go there and spend like $80 to $100, if not more. And the last time I went there, I got a discount. She took $10 off. They had some promotion going on, so that was great. <laughs> and they were always attentive. Yeah, if there's a glass, I may wrap it up with... Um, with uh, wrap, I mean a protective wrap. Carb I'm not wrapped. You know the paper says so protected. I mean, I'm really devastated. I mean, I'm shocked. And I, 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 Angie did a live stream about Victorian Christmas. I met that. She said she loved that place too. I don't think I've ever met anyone who hated that place. Um, uh, the only, the only bad thing I heard about them was, I mean, the lick when they went out of business, the liquidators took over. So one. And the liquidators promised the employees the last two weeks if they stay there, they would pay their uh, wages plus give them like a week bonus. I mean, a bonus of a week's pay. And I guess when times turned, uh, whenever it ran out, employees uh, didn't get their paychecks. And I guess a judge ruled they had to pay everybody out. But they said they were, they were, they're not allowed to get their week bonus. But I'm not sure, I'm not sure how all that resolved yet. That was a long time ago. Um, they're not doing any more videos about it. I don't know 
Now, I don't know if this happened to the people in my, but it was in like Boston. I don't know if it was people in mine that got shafted too. I'm not sure. <clears throat> no story about it, but it really, really sucks that um, it's going. You know, I always thought it would be there. I'm going to end up going to all these, and all these is really cool too, but I think Christmas tree shots is a little bit cooler. Well, anyways, I went ahead and, and found my last two Christmas tree shots videos. I did like extensive five minute video looking inside the store, plus a carton arcs edition of Christmas shots I'm put at the end of this video. So rest in peace, Christmas tree shops, you will definitely be missed. All right, on to the videos. Yeah, I'm shocked about this is whenever Fun Ruckers closed or whenever uh Cordoba's closed. So I always wanted to go there. I never went there. Uh but since it's such an important thing and I mean it's such a great store, I'm gonna put my uh the Burp Girl outro and also the production info and outro towards there. But I mean it's because I mean I'm really shocked. I'm sure we can have all these, because that was such a fun place to shop at. It was. I always spent a lot of money there. So here are the two videos I promised. Hey, my Legion. How y'all doing today? I'm with my buddy, John. And we're going to Chris Tree Shops. I haven't been this place in over a year. I think it's due. See what neat stuff they got. Because Chris Tree Shops is awesome. And no, people ask if it's just open during Christmas. No, it's open all year round. They have more than Christmas stuff in it. It's just called Christmas Tree Shops. Oh, go inside. All right. All right. Small gift card is up here. Cool. Awesome. We we'll grab a cart. Ready? Awesome. Eat some cart to grow. Well, partner, take care. A whole bunch of neat stuff here. Cool. Oh, you got pen stuff? Awesome. Oh my god. What the neat stuff. Here we go. The food stuff. I'll have to do a uh, voiceover. Ringos. Cool. I don't know how much these are, but I guess so. You know, it's got spark nice. Do they have any new ones? I don't know. I don't have any new ones or not. Maybe not. No, I don't think they do. So what else we got? We got their coffee and stuff here. We got a toy. Here we go, chips. There we go. There we go, there we go. Let's see what they got. Hey, I've had cayenne pepper, ghost pepper, had those. What are these? Crushed pepper? Oh, cool. 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 They got a whole bunch of good stuff here. Apricots. Heck yeah. Big row. This is a chocolate chip. Chocolate caramel. Look at all this stuff. The Mecca. Look at this. Look at that right there. Yeah, do that. Make up good stuff here. Martin kettle cooked. Cool. Awesome. Get one of these here. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff here at Chris Tree Shops. Awesome. And the nice thing is they individually wrap all the glass items in here. Cool. I had a couple. A lot of sauces too. 
And it came. And it came to $119, and she gave me like a $10 off coupon, so it was $109. Awesome. Yeah. This is what John got for the car. It's pretty cool. Pretty well, cool. Well, car. I well, I've propped it there for now. Well, propped it out for now, but that's pretty that's cool. He said, he said, any comments? I was like, what comments? And then, oh, crap. I didn't even see that because I see how blind I am. Yeah, you can see, you can see, I'm going blind. See, you can see, I'm going blind. Yeah, I'll follow up to uh, the... Christmas tree shops video. John got this. Doesn't that look familiar to that one character in the movie Wizards of Ralph Bakshi? Great Ralph Bakshi movie from the 70s, man. Awesome. I knew that character looked familiar. Like, what the heck was that in? The Wizards. Awesome. Yeah, before I forget, I mean, at the very end of this video, you know, I love Christmas tree shops. And I want to thank that lady that the cash had for uh, scanning a coupon for an extra $10 off. Because, like, $10 off, uh, like, a purchase of $50 or more. So, thank you for her. She was awesome. She was very kind and very helpful and stuff, too. Hope you liked this video, buddy. Until next time, please take care of my legion. Hello, Carton Architeers. Agent Callan here. Make sure the carts put away at Christmas Tree Shops. This is Carton Arch Christmas Tree Shops Edition. Please pick up and return carts here. They got a lot of carts. And they have a lot of cool stuff there. A Trish Tree Shops is awesome. So, they need to count out for Carton Arts. Dick. Eh. Ah. Legend. Legend. <sighs> Jason Callen, your YouTube channel kicks ass. Everyone should go and subscribe to Jason freaking Callen, the hot sauce king pin of them all. Yeah. Action shot. Good job, guys.